This tutorial is how to manage and set and create auto waypoints for your SkyDroid Organic Drone. First of all we need to <coughs> turn on and connect our drone and wait till it gets its home point. Once we have got its home point, as we have shown on the screen now, we then need to go to our editor. So click on and select your editor. Once we are over in our editor, we then need to create our first waypoint. We do this by selecting our waypoint at the top there and selecting a waypoint as close to our takeoff point as we possibly can. If we can't select a waypoint, we then click on the squiggle mark. This allows us to put a waypoint right in beside where we are. We can now click on the square triangle and move this waypoint by holding our finger on it and moving this waypoint in beside us. This is our first waypoint. Now scroll out <coughs> to where you want to, your drone to fish and your waypoint drop point, which for me will be somewhere out here. I'll then click on the squiggle mark again and put a waypoint out here. You'll notice now that it says that the distance is 245 meters, but I maybe want to go out to 500 meters. So if we want 500 meters again, the square rather, and hold our waypoint and drag it out to where we want it. I'm now at 357 meters. This is where I want my second waypoint. This is where I'm going to drop the line and create the waypoint for our fishing spot. Next, we're going to click on the squiggle mark and anywhere around that too, we create a third waypoint. It doesn't matter where we put that waypoint as it's irrelevant. It's going to disappear off the screen as this number three waypoint is going to be turned into our drop zone or our waypoint to tell the drone to drop our bait. Now that we have our three waypoints, Number one is our waypoint close to where we are at takeoff. Number two is our waypoint for dropping our bait. And number three is going to be our waypoint to tell the drone to drop the bait. So what we're going to do now is click on our number three at the bottom here and highlight it. Over on the right hand side you see the waypoint is showing up. We now click on that waypoint. And we can go down and select, and what we need to do is select Set Servo. We then move up to Channel and select Channel 8. And then we touch down on PWM, and that will open up a new screen, and we type in 1000. And click Select Done. We can now touch the screen and that's it. What we need to do now <coughs> is save that. So we export to file. It comes up with a file name. We go OK and file is saved. If we export to file, we can click on that name and we can change it to whatever we want. So if we change this to waypoint test, or whatever you want to call it, and go done, so we know where to find it, it is now saved. You'll notice now that that waypoint number three has gone off the screen, and we only have two waypoints now, but down the bottom it is showing three, and the third one is showing a servo symbol. The servo symbol is representing to drop your bait. Now we need to upload this to the drone. We do this by clicking the three dots on the right hand side and we go upload mission. When we hit upload mission it will ask you do you want to append a takeoff and a return to land to your mission. Select OK. Do not skip because this will now import Waypoint saved to drone. Insert a number one takeoff and 
a fifth waypoint return to home and land. So the waypoint 3 that we put in has now moved to waypoint 4. The waypoint 1 we put in has now moved to number 2. And that has completed the whole mission now. So the whole mission is it takes off at waypoint 1, goes to waypoint 2, which is straight above us that we put in as the first waypoint at our takeoff point, goes to number 3 that we set at our 550 or 600 metres, whatever we wanted. Number four will drop the bait, and number five will return to home. We can now click on the three dots on the right hand side and upload the mission. Waypoints saved to drone. And the waypoints have now saved to the drone. And that's it. Now, when we take off, we return back over to our main screen by hitting the back button. And on the main screen, we have our home position and our waypoint set to where we want to go to and drop and do our mission. When we arm our drone and we take off, um, you'll see received. take off and auto. And all you need to do now is hit the auto and everything's taken care of. The drone will lift off, rise to 20 metres, fly your bait out to the drop zone, drop the base and return to home. The next thing you need to do is once that mission is complete or if you want to wipe that mission because those waypoints will remain in the drone we can go back to editor. While we're in editor if you want to append those waypoints like this number three we can hit the square and we can hold down that waypoint and we can move it around the screen out to 450 we can move it out to 650 so we're now altering the distance that we've set it to so we might want to try a different distance and all we've got to do is upload waypoint saved to drive that mission so the next time you take off it will go to 652 meters on the screen or We can come right back into 120 meters and just upload the mission. Waypoints saved to drone. To clear the mission and clear all waypoints from the drone, what we do is we click on the rubbish bin and select the mission. That has cleared all waypoints from the editor and we upload mission. Waypoints saved to drone. And that has uploaded a blank mission to the drone, which has now cleared all waypoints from the drone and a blank mission, so the drone won't go anywhere when you hit auto.